Hello, my name is Matthew, and I have the privilege of being paid by Ericsson to make the world a better place through open source, and for that, I am grateful. I wanted to talk to, some, to you about something that was in the news recently. Uh, right now, it is April 2024, and a lot of people are talking about the XZ Tools vulnerability. Now, this vulnerability affects version 5.61 of XZ Tools. It also does not affect version 5.46. So what I did, I tried to reproduce the brilliant Andres Frunza work, where I made a VM, and the VM had um, both XZs. We were able to select one or the other, and I made an SSH connection to myself where I just piped the command exit. With this, I then took a trace using the function instrumentation. In this case, I used UF trace for fun, but you could have just as well done this with LTTNG UST or other function tracers. If we look at the results, you will see that we have a flame graph here that is time correlated. Uh, we will show soon how to do manual time correlation in Trace Compass, and that is a very interesting video coming up. Just know that this is the exact same program flow between the two executions, because it's the same program running. It's SSH, and SSH did not change. We only changed one underlying library underneath, which was um, XZ Tools. And you can see the program flow changed dr drastically. Now, if you look here in 546, a lot of these functions take longer to run. Timeout is one of the rare that actually take about the same time on both sides. If we go to this one and you look at the tooltip, you will see that it takes 3.5 milliseconds and here it takes about 4.1. Yep, 4.1. You have your atomic IO that's much faster on the compromised library too. Read key file is much faster. However, if you look, SSH packet read sequence number, and I'm going to press slash to be able to look at it and uh, to do a search and read sequence number. You can see here, I'm going to zoom in with right click, read sequence number here is 50 microseconds, and here is 1.9 milliseconds. We are able to see that changing a simple library will completely change the timing of your of your execution. And this is something that you need to be mindful of. This does not show the vulnerability. However, it leads me to suspect that the, the dubious actions were happening around this area in the new execution. So with that, I hope that you find your um, problems a lot faster with more observability, and I hope that we were able to help. Thank you very much.